Hey fam, today we're gonna look at AudioCraft Music Gen. This is an open source text and music model by Facebook with the code publicly available on GitHub for you to check out. First things first, let's check out some examples. We're gonna start things off with the techno beat. Here's the prompt used to generate this. Not bad, now moving on to reggae. And again, here's the prompt that was used to generate this. All right, all right. Now how about some reggaeton? Not too shabby, right? So the main benefits is this, is that it's open source. It produces pretty decent audio quality. It's got good genre understanding and the training code is coming soon. Now that last part, that's what really excites me because once the training code is available, that means that the possibilities are nearly infinite because users are gonna be able to train their own models and the stuff that this thing is gonna be able to produce is gonna really take off. Now going back to this model, how refined is the genre output really? Let's take an example of West Coast Rap. We're going to use this prompt to generate something that should sound like West Coast Rap. As a comparison, let's see if East Coast Rap sounds any different. Here's the prompt we're going to use, and then here's the audio that it produces. How about vocals? Can it do vocal? Here's the prompt we used. Keep in mind that this is the medium model, not the melody model. Clearly there's no vocals. And what actually I was most excited about is probably sound effects. However, using this prompt here, this is what we get. Well, unfortunately, no sound effects either. What about the limit for maximum duration of audio clips? Turns out it's only 30 seconds. For summary, the main issues of this is that it requires the GPU with 16 gigabytes of RAM. There's no sound effect, there's no voice, and maximum 30 seconds. How about actually running this? What's the best way to run? So one option is Google Colab. That's probably the best one. If you got GPU resources on your Colab notebook, just go ahead and use this because you can generate multiple songs and the performance is quite good, and the setup is very minimal. Plus, there's a starter notebook available right on their GitHub page. All right, another option is the Hugging Face space that they also have created. It's linked in the GitHub documentation. Here, it's got unlimited output, but it's a little bit slower than Colab. What you can do is replicate this to a private space and then attribute resources by adding your billing, and then you can generate pretty quickly. Now, if your GPU allows for it, running this locally is probably your best bet because then you got unlimited flexibility and you can really do whatever you want. Plus there's no limitation, no nothing. It's just based on whatever your computer can output, that's what you got. One other thing I wanna show you is an easy way to generate music descriptions for this text to music model. You go over to ChatGPT, you give ChatGPT some examples and then you tell it which genres you want. Then you go ahead and just run this through ChatGPT, and ChatGPT is going to describe this music in much better detail than I personally could imagine. It's a little hack, and I recommend you use it. I was using it, and it's quite good. The part that I actually most excited about is the custom models that are going to come out, because once the training code is available, once Facebook publishes it, people are going to come up with their own models, and then we're going to see if maybe you can output vocals, maybe some sound effects, maybe specific music genres. It's just going to be really exciting to see what people come up with. All right. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.